Police often risk their lives in the line of duty, and most of us would take comfort having a policeman living next door. But not the Brooks family. They believe their neighbour is stalking them with his security cameras. Sergeant Edie claims they're for his safety. Every one of his cameras are all up and down the boundary looking straight in here. It's really creepy to know that you're being watched all the time. It's already a long and messy dispute here. There's no love lost between these neighbours. Like, it's just clearly an invasion of our privacy. It's a neighbourhood dispute that started over lawn clippings, then rocks in the driveway, then seven shipping containers in one backyard. Now there's a new twist, with a battery of CCTV cameras pointing directly into this property. Thomas Brooks says he feels like these cameras are stalking him. Today we can count six of them. He claims at times there's been up to nine and they're all pointing right at his place. It seems he's got nothing better to do in his life than watch what I'm doing. Like, it's just nuts. He is a police officer, Sergeant Michael Eady, who lives next door and has been getting sick of his neighbour's construction site. How many shipping containers have you got on the property? There's um, seven. Seven. And how many boats? There's a couple. And how many caravans? There's a caravan that I'm living in, and there's that one there, which is a holiday van, and the other two are site officers that are on wheels. Thomas Brooks is in the process of redeveloping his 1,600 square metre block into a three-lot subdivision. The front house is partially renovated, the back house is up on blocks, while the middle lot is currently full of those shipping containers. And so just explain for me why you've got seven shipping containers on here? Well, I've got a lot of building materials stored in them. Logan Council tried to prosecute Thomas in court over the containers, but lost. A magistrate dismissing all eight charges. The council is planning to appeal. Do you think there should be any issue about you having so many shipping containers? No, well, it's a three-lot subdivision. So, you know, the, the containers are spread over the three lots. Yeah, it should not be an issue. His neighbour does have an issue, though. In March last year, they wrote a four-page letter raising concerns about earthworks along the boundary line and expressing fears that a shipping container could topple onto their house. Because they were terrified it was going to fall into their property. Like, what a lot of rubbish. That'd be a long... Well, it'd fall, fall on its side for a start and it, in the driveway. And then over again. And over again. And again. And again. But now Thomas Brooks has a complaint of his own about why his neighbour has so many cameras pointing right at his property. Of most concern are these two at the rear of his neighbour's yard. One is pointing directly at the caravan where Thomas currently lives. What, what sort of purpose do you think these two cameras are he's, serving? He's spying on us. There's no other explanation. Otherwise, if he was having them for security, he'd have cameras all around his property everywhere, but they're all on this side. Thomas erected this red screen to try and give himself some privacy, but says some of the cameras were then moved higher. He has a photo of one camera when it was under the eave of his neighbour's garage. Now it's above the roof line. He's obviously watching us for, to, to then move them higher up because we could a barrier to stop him from looking in here with his cameras, so he goes and lifts them up higher. So why does Michael Eady need all those cameras? My name's Dan from A Current Affair. We are just called out here by your neighbour. I was just wondering if you could have a quick chat with us about your cameras that you got set up there. Our attempts to arrange a later interview were unsuccessful. His father-in-law, Les Jobson, who owns the property where the Edies reside, did speak to us by phone. They're up there for safety reasons. Right. It's not particularly spying on anyone. I don't know where they're spying. That's his own stupidity. He also revealed there's even more cameras that can't be seen. That's only some of, of the cameras that are there protect the property. So how many cameras would be up altogether? Oh, I've settled down. I'm not telling... Oh, come on, you're going to leave it open for the criminals. Clearly there's a lot of cameras here and would make you feel very uncomfortable. Lawyer Richard Mitry says laws around CCTV cameras vary from state to state, but rarely restrict how many you have or where they point. He says nuisance grounds are one of the only legal means to attempt to have somebody else's cameras moved. 
anyone who owns or lives on a property is entitled to enjoy their property. And if somebody else does something which is unreasonable and substantial, which interferes with that enjoyment, that could be illegal, it could be a nuisance, uh, which could require someone to pay compensation. Thomas Brooks says a finance issue with his bank halted work on his development site almost two years ago. He plans to restart work next month as long as there's no more delays from council. They have just complained about anything and everything, which has effectively just brought the whole project to a halt. He says the containers will be removed as each lot is complete, but wants his neighbours to leave too. What I'd like to do is move, <laughs> frankly. If, if failing that, yeah, I just want them to behave themselves and be good neighbours like anyone else can be. We'll keep you updated on Logan City Council's appeal against the magistrate's decision to allow Thomas's shipping containers to remain.